behind here. It's a beautiful sunny day and it's a gorgeous port. Um, you come in right off the ship. We've got a little area here with Wi-Fi. Some very nice friendly locals giving you maps and information. We're going to go ahead into town and see some things including the Red Soaring Gardens at Tegomatsu Castle. And um, out in the port, then we have local um, people who are letting you try the local famous kaki udon noodles. And you could even borrow the hat and take a photo with a noodle hat. So you can walk into town from here. We, there's a summer festival set up, a beautiful work of modern art. In a small park, you can see we're right next to the Takamatsu Symbol Tower. Uh, this is a great place to get a wonderful view of the city. You can go all the way up to the top there, 30 floors up. is 151 meters by 450 feet, and you get a gorgeous view of Takamatsu. Inside the Sunport building, next to the tower, uh, this is a good place to come in, it's nice and cool. Uh, there is also Wi-Fi in here, a convention center area, and upstairs there are lots of restaurants and some shops. One of the main things to see in Takamatsu is the Ritsuren Garden. So we've taken a local bus out here, it's about three and a half kilometers away, uh, two and a half miles. And this is where we're going. Uh, it's a beautiful place to visit, lots to see. Right. So when you come in, this is where you get the tickets, right here. It's 410 yen uh, per person. And there's also, um, you can take a boat along the pond for 610 yen, a separate thing if you're interested. And you can get information in English. It tells you all about the history of the garden and it's got a map so you can find your own. As you're going around, um, check out there's a small area where it has a little cafe. You can sit and have hot or cold drinks or ice cream. And a shop selling lots of local products and also beautiful kimono. Right in the middle of the park, there's the Daimaru house, which was the, he was the ruler of the area. Um, this was his house. It, it's now an information center, like a mini museum. You can learn about uh, the past here, about what it was like um, for his role, um, what it was like to live here. Um, there's a courtyard in the middle. It's really, really pretty. Even the little gardens I was trying to inside it as well. Now, inside the building, um, they're very kind because upstairs it's air conditioned, which is amazing to see. And also, there's free Wi Fi and a lovely place to sit, so it's a good place to sit. Also look out for the Sanuki Bookraft Museum. Uh, the admission is uh, free with your entry inside and it tells you all about local crafts. So as you walk around look out for the huge beautiful koi carp that are everywhere that are in all traditional Japanese gardens. They're considered to be good luck and these have been around since uh, the Meiji period. Uh, the emperors had them here because they were good luck and they were never eaten but cared for. As you're walking around the park, look out for the tea houses. There are two of them. And this is one, this is Kiko Gets to Tea. Um, you can go in and you take your shoes off, of course, outside. And you go in and sit inside. There are tatami mats and places to sit. And you can have a sensei tea or a matcha tea with sweets and sit and enjoy the atmosphere of being in the middle of a beautiful park. And you get a lovely view of the pond on the inside. And this is the other tea house. This is where they used to do um, tea ceremony because the tea ceremony school was here teaching people how this is done by Ichi Soshi, who is the founder of the Moshiburu Senku Tea Ceremony School. Our next stop is Takamatsu Castle, uh, the ruins of the castle, and this is situated in Tomono Park. Uh, it's really close to the ship, so you could actually just walk here very easily. Uh, we're stopping on our way back from Ritsuren Gardens. So this is Takamatsu Castle. As you come inside, uh, you see the, the moat which went around it. Um, they used to swim in the moat um, because uh, swimming was considered um, a useful exercise, especially living by the sea. And today, you can go out on one of the little traditional boats and take a little boat trip all around the moat. So uh, it's 500 yen.
So we're in Hume Castle Garden now, which is a very carefully manicured garden. It's beautiful, and it's right next to the Hume Castle building behind us. This was the government building, um, which was used as the main offices for the castle, and nowadays it's used for tea ceremonies and meetings. Something really lovely to look out for in the castle is this. This is the Sukimea Gora turret. It was completed in 1676 and this was used as a watchtower because it overlooks the water and so you could see boats coming in and out from there and so when the clan leaders came back um, from Edo, um, from Tokyo, you could see the boats coming in and make sure that it was friendly people and not foes and also it was a way to watch out for the enemy. Uh, so this is a beautiful, very well preserved turret. And here's the bridge. This was um, made in the Meiji period um, and it has the, the roof on it to protect from, from sun or rain. So we are going to have our udon now. Udon is the local dish here in um, the port. <laughs> so we're going, to, we're going to have some lovely noodle soup and then what you do is you dip the, the ponzu sauce, you put all the little yummy things in it, dip it inside and we're having tempura. So this is orange pork udon. Next one. It looks amazing. And if you're looking for dessert, something very nice to have is green tea ice cream. Hey, the green tea. This is matcha ice cream, uh, and it's in the mall down the bottom. We've got green tea and cheesecake ice cream, which we discovered yesterday um, in Kobe, and it is the best ice cream there. So here we go. Wonderful day in Takamatsu. I'm seeing the Ritsuring Garden, seeing the uh, Takamatsu Castle, eating amazing udon with tempura, and just being around the lovely city with all the lovely people here. Um, arigatou gozaimasu, Takamatsu. We'll see you next.